Hello, Jazzcat here. Welcome to an overview of room skeletons for IMVU Studio. Before we start, although Blender is used for illustrative purposes, the material and topics covered apply to 3D Studio Max as well as other content authoring tools. Some basic knowledge using 3D and 2D software may also be needed. With that out of the way, let's dive in. As with everything in IMVU, rooms rely on an underlying skeletal structure to function correctly in-game. While meshes describe what's visible to the user, the skeleton, typically constructed from objects invisible to the user called nodes, defines where everything goes, different types performing different roles or functions depending on what and where they are. Core skeleton nodes define the fundamental structure of the rooms, Without these, IMVU doesn't know the item being loaded as a room. Furniture nodes define where furniture items initially load. Seating or post spots establish where avatars appear. It should be noted here that should any of the core nodes be missing, IMVU drops in proxies to bring the room up to minimum specs so the room can function in various clients and apps. Taking a closer look at each group, the core skeleton node set comprises the room's root or master, skeleton.root, a single node that sits at the very top of the hierarchy. Parented to this are the camera nodes, camera root and the camera target, and node.room, which in turn links lights, typically omni and spot. The next set of nodes accommodate room decoration. These are the furniture nodes, typically parented directly to skeleton.room and to which furniture attach in IMVU. Furniture nodes are identified by name and orientation. Floor labeled furniture.floor point up, wall furniture.wall point inwards, and ceiling furniture.ceiling point down into the room. As rooms can have a lot of nodes, a numbered element is included in the label, which is incremental, so 01, 02, 03, upwards of 100 or more for larger rooms. Final set are the seat or post spots. These are identical to furniture seat nodes in that they provide the necessary data IMVU needs to place avatars in rooms, provide basic avatar interactivity, and are similarly parented to skeleton.room. The minimum number of seats or spots is six. Fewer than this, an IMVU automatically adds the missing slots. Each set comprises a seat node, where the avatar actually appears, a handle that forms the clickable interface element in IMVU, and a catcher-pitcher pair for interactive avatar placement. As there is a minimum number required, each set has a numerical identifier similar to furniture nodes placed after the node type label. For example, seat 01.sitting, handle 01, catcher 01.sitting, and picture 01.sitting. In each case, the number is incremental per set. Each node is identified by the numerical ID. How the various nodes are used exactly will depend a great deal on the room and functionality therein. A simple scene might have sitting spots on a low wall, standing spots on a pavement. Surrounding this might be furniture nodes, a few floor nodes so furniture items can be placed on the ground, a few wall nodes for hanging plants, and perhaps ceiling nodes for birds flying overhead. Within this scenario, the catcher and pitcher nodes for both sitting and standing poses might be offset to avoid the avatars being buried in walls when interacting, or handle nodes move to one side to make seat selection easier. The camera nodes too can be positioned to look directly at seat 01 as the initial point of view, and the light placed in a way as to hint at the sun's direction or a street lamp. The options are endless. In summary then, basic rooms typically include post spots, furniture nodes and an underlying substructure that, when linked together correctly, form the skeleton IMVU uses to determine what a room is and how the user can interact with it. The creative expression, what the room represents and what the user can actually do, is up to the creator's imagination.